Hey fam, what is up? This is Kat, and this is the fourth day of my solid food vacation, aka juice fasting, juice feast. And wow, it's been challenging and enlightening at the same time. So as you guys know, I'm a foodie, I love food, and this is a huge challenge. I'm, you know, retraining my body to have a little bit, a little bit of sense of control. Um, if, when you can control what you eat, you have control in so many other areas of your life. And this is, I want to just, just, you know, put this out there. This is a temporary thing we do. We don't have to do this forever. So I'm 34 now and I feel this is the time that I should be doing a cleanse. I've never done a cleanse. I mean, I've done the um, herbs from Dr. Morse. That is a cleanse. So, okay, I've done a cleanse, but not a juice fast. I've never fasted. Let's put it that way. So how did day two go? Day two was intense. I was nauseous. I was going to the bathroom. I had bursts of runny diarrhea. I would... I didn't count, but I should have. I'm estimating around 30 times that I went to the bathroom on day two. Whew. I mean, I know that might be TMI for some of you, but this is the reality of a juice fast. And this is something I want to share so that if you embark on this journey yourself, the hero's journey, which I'll tell you about in a second, that this is the reality. And everyone, of course, might have a different experience, but so far, what I'm getting from speaking to other people who have done 100-day juice fasts or longer, um, and even someone who did a 5-day juice fast, someone who did a 60-day juice fast, they all say the same thing, that the first few days are the hardest. I feel this is day four, and I feel this is the easiest day so far. So what's happening? So what's happening inside the colon is you're drinking all this live water, this living water, H3O2. It is hydrating, it is loaded with enzymes, and it's saturating and hydrating and breaking down all of your, um, you know, your fecal matter, your shit inside of you. And all that is breaking down finally. And you're changing the ionic pressure in your body. You are doing a lot of detoxing by doing this. You're fasting, you're allowing your digestion a break and then these things happen one thing after another. It almost changes by the hour. You know, like one hour I could feel a little bit dizzy and the next I could feel like full of energy and like almost like too fast. You know, I'm, I'm vacuuming and I'm like, whoa, I was like so fast. Also, I feel a different level of awareness. Um, something else I've noticed starting yesterday was my sense of smell was like, Maybe that's another reason I'm nauseous because of the overwhelming um, sense of smell. Even my hearing is so sensitive that when I'm cleaning my juicer, all that noise is like hurting my ears and it's really annoying actually. Um, so I just, I'm preferring peace and quiet and that's okay. I like peace and quiet. I'm also, um, you know, I work from home so I am editing or doing some sort of Task and I'm listening to um, John Rose or Dr. Morris in the background. They help keep me motivated. So also speaking to other people that are um, joining or doing this journey or have done this journey, you know, you want to educate, you want to reach out, you want to have a community, and then you want to stay on track. Just, just keep pushing through. Um, you're stronger than you think you are. And you can do this. If I can do this, you can do this. I have also, I think I have a different situation because I've also been doing some juicing leading up to this for years. I've always had a juicer. I've never done a juice fast, which is crazy, right? Well, it is time. And I am, I'm feeling like a different person on day four already. Like, I feel like I have said goodbye to the old self because what's going to emerge from this is definitely going to be a new person. And I wish other people could see that, not be, see me, but see that for themselves. You know, I wish other people could, could just break free from that matrix. This is like taking the red pill 
honestly, this is the real red pill, guys. This is the red pill from the Matrix to and exit the Matrix. I feel like it's juicing. You have to drink the juice, eliminate, so you can see, you have better vision, so you can see what the heck is really going on. And, I mean, I've already, I feel like I've already gotten the treat. Like John Rose says at the end of every video, he's like, oh, and you're in for a treat, right? Um, all you trim tabs know what I mean. Anywho, so there was a really interesting moment. I was in my hammock and I was just kind of feeling the detox symptoms and I was just kind of relaxing. And suddenly a memory from my childhood just surfaced and I felt the feelings again of that memory. So the memory is that I was, I fell asleep or took a nap apparently, which is, I never take a nap anymore. And then everybody in my family that was at home at the time, um, my brother, my mom, my aunt, my cousins, they all went for a walk in the park. And if any of you guys are watching, you'll, you'll know what I mean, or maybe you don't remember. But I was left alone at home and I woke up and I was like, where's everyone? Oh my gosh. And I started freaking out a little bit, like getting upset and like, you know, my feelings were hurt. And, you know, I think I called somehow I managed to call them, um, or they came home. I don't, I don't remember what it was, but I just remember feeling that abandonment. And I was just like, you know, listening to that inner child in me. And I was like telling that inner child from now, I was just like, you know, they left, yeah, but if you think about it, they left you at home because they believed in you, they trusted you, they, they, they thought you're cool enough to stay at home and you're, you can handle it. So they, they had trust in me, you know, so I, I was able to like, um, kind of like talk to this old memory of mine, almost like going back in time and talking to my inner child. It almost felt like time travel like i was able to talk to the younger self younger version of myself and say it's okay and look you are better you are better than you think you were you 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 are not abandoned you are trusted you were just fine and and you lived through it and look at you now so i was just kind of like immediately after I, it was all internal you know but after immediately feeling that way and telling myself that I immediately had like this calm, this like sense of relief come over me and just like, I didn't feel bad about it anymore. I was like, whoa, this is kind of interesting. What just happened? So I don't know what that is. You know, I don't know if that's just a part of detox. Or I was just extra emotional, but I was able to access a memory and do something with it, which I've never done or thought to do, but it was very effective. And Oh, by the way, check out this picture of me when I started my um, detox from Dr. Morse. This is me and this is me now. Wow, this was um, taken June 3rd. That's what's up. And I will continue this detox until I feel that it is my time to stop and I feel like I've passed a mucoidal plaque perhaps. That would be the best. And if I don't do it, it's okay. I'm not going to beat myself up. You know, if I only make it to five days or 14 days, then, you know, maybe I'll try again. I don't know. But this is the journey, and I'm just going to take it a day at a time, and I hope for the best. And leave a comment below if you guys have heard about this. If you have done a juice fast, I'd love to know how long your juice fast was. And, yeah, what's your story? So um, I'll see you guys later. Bye.